Welcome to episode two of MJ Podcast. Today, you are subject to hearing a private conversation between myself, Miles Brown, and Jamar Johnson. Uh, we're speaking a little bit about spirituality and listen close. It's a little hard to follow along in the beginning, but towards the end, uh, there's a powerful message and we hope you take that and it deposits a little something into your life that will, um, hopefully bless you. All right, let's begin. Let's, we're jumping right into it. Like when you don't close your eyes in the dream world, and you just it's nothing that's like your body is not sorry, not dead, but um he felt this evil spirit like this evil presence come over him, you know what I'm saying? And um as, as soon as the evil came, you know what I'm saying, he felt like this shine of light, you know what I'm saying, like kinda I guess put the light on it, this evil spirit and it's, the evil spirit that wasn't no positive light, like it just mm-hmm. got away. You know what I'm saying? And it was God. You know what I'm saying? He was telling him like, "Give up the ghost, like you come on home." You know what I'm saying? And he was like, "Nah, man, I gotta go back." You know what I'm saying? It felt good to the point he just wanted to stay, but he was like, "Nah, I gotta go back." You know what I'm saying? And just that, that account always stuck with me. You know what I'm saying? Because he did that, like right here in the present world, like that's how I stopped. He was gone. gone. Yeah, he was gone. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, the naysayers or your self, self doubt would say, like, he just was dreaming. You know what I'm saying? Like, he had been so plugged into this, you know what I'm saying, fictitious world that's going to come that you start to believe it. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, um, what's that y'all uh, called? Gods? Uh, Came with stars? What was that channel? Oh, yeah, American Gods. American Gods. It was playing on the fact that whatever you believe in, that's the faith that you will um, see. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If you believe different, then that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? If you believe in nothing, then nothing will happen. I think by default, the uh, Egyptian God was going to be... <laughs> Remember, Egyptian God was like weighing your soul against the fact. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But we have believed in so much. So if you unplug, you know what I'm saying? Who wants that? You know what I'm saying? Like, I definitely believe in Jesus Christ. I definitely believe that He's the Son of God. And sometimes when I get super high, the self doubt come in. Like, is is it I'm um, just plugged in? You know what I'm saying? Like, what if I, my own mother would never went back to house of prayer? Like, I wasn't raised in the church. You know what I'm saying? Like, would be dead. But then it's uh. You got the opportunity, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's a blessing that you did, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I always looked at it as a blessing growing up. Mm-hmm. And the only reason do I question certain things. Is it good to question? Should I stop questioning? Um, I think the Bible says to, with all wisdom, gain understanding. So, to understand something, <laughs> if you don't ask a question about something that you don't understand, mm-hmm. you can't get true clarity. And I think... The closer you look for the truth, the more you'll see God in it because God is truth. You know what I'm saying? So if you're connected to the truth, everything that feels right is going to end up leading you back to, oh, God had his handprint on that. So and it's okay to have your whole mind shattered for it to be brought back again and understand that, dang, you know, there's really a foundation here because. What people forget is that truth is a foundation. So, and we've seen the truth, and then like I never ever seen words like never I seen the righteous forsaken. You exactly. know what I'm saying? Exactly. Like at the end of the day, like when you live it, in your real world, mm. when you see a righteous person, somebody that you know is living by the word of God because their life just mm. speaks it, mm. that confirms the Bible because it's just like what could really happen to Sister Summers other than her husband dying or she die that would knock her off track at this point in her life. You know what I'm saying? Nothing. She's just ready to go home and see God at this point anyway. So it's just like the righteous ain't going to be forsaken because once you get past the materialism of this world, once you get past all of the, oh, I want want this title in life. I want that title in life. Once you get past all of that, you realize we're just biding time until we transition into another dimension and but 
I think some of the words mean that, like the relationship that I have with this earth is meaningless. That's not true. That's not true because you're going to be rejoined with those people again. I know, but. Oh. Yeah. That's the. I'm glad I had that one. Yeah. I, I enjoyed this conversation we have because sometimes, like, I couldn't have that conversation with nobody else. I, you know, yeah. I heard that from Dana, too. Dana yeah. said that to me, too. He yeah. was like, when you try to talk to other people about. I don't know if it's spiritual. Ality or what is it? Relig- whatever, what, what whatever that saying? is. Yeah, whatever that is. Um, he said the people don't even contemplate it as like something that's actually could be like going on right now. I'm like, yeah, what are people doing? But everybody don't have like you said that tapped in. This awareness, you know, you awareness. Times, I did aimlessly go through life like. Um, one comment that stick out a uh, cash had made about um. The little girl juice. That's the one that, like his love is life, you know what I'm saying? He's really devastated about losing her. But okay. she came and he just was out here playing, you know what I'm saying? And she was a precious kid, you know what I'm saying? And she's sad to him like um he mentioned that she said that I just asked God for a sign and this was a sign, you know what I'm saying? And the way he said it was like you know, she gonna go the route like, oh, this is a sign from God. You know what I'm saying? And his man was like, oh man, you know what I'm saying? They yeah. they play that card. You know what I'm saying? But that's real. You know what I'm saying? And um, like we we ask God to show us a sign. Like, uh, you know what I'm saying? Are we going the right direction? You know what I'm saying? If it's not your will, you no. Know? And sometimes when he do it, you know, what I'm show it. It's not the answer we want, so we still go back. You know what I'm saying? Looking for different, yeah. you know. Like, oh, okay. If somebody so gave like, you a clear yeah. no, you were yeah. in the wrong direction. You can't just accept it. Yeah. But that comes from also being trained to hear from the word of God because the more you know about God, the more you know it only pays to listen to him. Because if you don't listen to him, the consequences yeah. that he's trying to keep you from are literally devastating. So a preacher's kid going to God and saying, Lord, yeah. Father, tell me if this man is for me. When yeah. when God come and tell you, no, he not for you. Yeah. If she She's been trained enough in her mind to know, okay, I literally got to leave this guy alone because yeah. it's going to be more devastating for my life to stay than to go. I'm going to have to get over this little heartache right now yeah. because what he's sheltering me from, yeah. I can't even imagine. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So. I'm with that. I'm definitely with that. I just need to um, just listen to that heart. You know what I'm saying? What's your prayer life? Are you getting on the knees? Are you, you I'm know? Not, like, I think I spend my time more like working out. I need to work out my spiritual. Yeah. So. But see, that's the thing. Everything comes in order. Mm-hmm. If you don't have your mind connected to your source and your power, your mind is going to be connected to uh, everything else that wants to grab your attention. But if you don't take the time, like whatever you give energy to, gives energy back to you. And that's the thing that I was saying in the um, John I sent you. It's like there's a beam of light that we can't see it. You know what I'm saying? But it's connected into the heavens. When we sit down on our knees and we pray, that realm is energizing us like a phone. Like it's like plugging your phone into a wall. So the more of that we get, the less chances that the devil can catch you on E. You know what I'm saying? Where, dang, I only had one or two percent faith left. And because I didn't get on my knees and get in front of God and know that his promises is for me to realign my thinking, because that's what it says in the Bible. We have to renew our thoughts every day and put our, our head back on God, because everything else that tries to pull you away from God is to is trying to literally depreciate you of all of the energy that's positive in this world. Because what you can tell is if you leave it up to the world, the world default setting is negative. It's negative. It's only godly people and people that have morality that bring some sense of good into humanity. It's humanity itself is inherently evil. Yeah, that's what society tried to tell you that's not true. Like, you don't have to have religion to be... And that's a lie. That's a farce. These people have lied to us. You know what I'm saying? So, Ellen DeGeneres don't have humanity? I think she plays humanity... 
Like the, the, the whole uh, what's the name? The the um talk show is all feel good. It's bright colors. Is that California lifestyle? Is you know what I'm saying? And when I watched it, I was like, even though she gay, she get this warmy feel. Like mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Oh, mm-hmm. I feel good. I love to go to the it's smile. Like, Can I tell you what the what God is telling me to say right now? What's that? All light has a heat that comes from it. You know what I'm saying? All light, mm-hmm. like you, you when they people, got a core. yeah, every all of it has a core and an energy. My thing is, what is that it's energy right plugged yeah. into? Right, yeah. Because if if Ellen the Generous, her light feels so warm and mm-hmm. loving, and you can just laugh with her and yeah. kick it with her, she's trying to make you comfortable with what? Yeah. Being around someone who's yeah. homosexual yeah. and letting you know, yeah. oh, there's nothing to be scared of here. Yeah. When in reality, we don't know what she feels at home. Yeah. She could be tore up. She could be yeah. sad. She could, you know, but that f- that front that that yeah. light can put out can make you feel warm yeah. when, you know, it's not the sun. It's like a heat lamp. And if you stay under that heat lamp too long, even though it feel good in the yeah. beginning, it might burn your skin. Yeah. Steve.